Hey folks, I'm Jared Bentley, and this is the latest edition of the Pop Chronicle. In this latest edition of Pop Chronicle, I'm going to give you five bands I think you ought to be listening to right now. I'm not one for new music, I don't listen to a lot of things on the radio, but if something catches my ear and it's unique and different, I will give it a ride until the wheels fall off. And these are five acts that did that for me. Hopefully you'll hear a little bit here that does it for you too. First up is Wolfpack. These guys are making huge waves in the music industry and all over the internet. They formed in 2011 at the University of Michigan, and this four-piece outfit is a reminder of the great rhythm sections of the past. Jack Stratton, Theo Katzman, Woody Goss, and the amazing Joe Dart play low-volume funk music that makes me very, very happy. The band is prolific in its recording, video output, and touring schedules, and all of the members have either released solo projects, joined or started other bands, or recorded with a myriad of artists on the side. Catchman has released an impeccable solo album called Heartbreak Hits. Dart has recorded with the great Nate Smith and their band Fearless Flyers. Goss is popping up all over the place as a sideman, and Stratton has emerged as a leader of the DIY soul movement, handling the band's management and production, as well as acting as chief songwriter and band leader. If you get a chance, you'll want to digest everything in their catalog, especially their work with Bernard Purdy, Corey Wong, Joey Dosick, and the insanely talented vocalist Antoine Stanley. It will be well worth your time, and there's plenty of options online to take up hours of it. For the life of me, I can't understand why Joshua James is not a huge star. He has the sound, the look, the songs, and the talent to take him wherever he needs to go, and he should be there already. I became aware of him through his 2009 release, Build Me This, which was one of the finest Americana albums I've ever heard, and I've been enthralled with his voice ever since. The album was highly acclaimed and garnered lots of critical praise, but was unable to crank the charts as it should have, and that's a shame. From the opening line of the emotional roller coaster Cold War through the storybook of Magazine and the sing-along chorus of Annabelle into the weight and sadness of Daniel and beyond, the album is one great song after another after another. Once you've heard it, you can't help but latch on to his later recording from the top of Willamette Mountain. It makes the search well worth it. Check this guy out, folks, and you'll be happy that you did. Thundercat is a prolific bassist, producer, and songwriter from LA whose real name is Stephen Lee Bruner. And he may not be everybody's cup of tea. He just may be one of the most diverse artists of our time though, having worked with Kendrick Lamar, Flying Lotus, Suicidal Tendencies, Michael McDonald, and Kenny Loggins, just to name a few. 
His music is palatable and funky, and his production for others is inventive and unique, but his solo works are not really designed for radio play. He's garnered an immense amount of critical acclaim and won a Grammy in 2016 for his work with Lamar. But if you want to hear what he really does, you should check out his wonderful 2017 release, Drunk. It's not for everyone, as I said, and you might want to have the parental advisory rules in effect, though his songs are far from offensive. If you like fusion jazz mixed with new age funk and soul with a heavy dose of Zappa-esque humor and chord changes, then you might like Thundercat. I've grown to be a fan over the past few years and there doesn't seem to be a need to stop listening as the output continues to be interesting and inventive enough to keep me coming back. He's actually my ringtone right now and I'm not one who usually goes for that sort of thing. If you're a big fan of Australian funk trios like I am, then Cooking on Three Burners might be the band for you. Ever since Jake Mason, Dan West, and Ivan Kachoyan released the amazing This Girl in 2009, they've been dancing all over Australian radio, and in 2016, the Kung's remix of that song landed on my radar, and I'm not complaining. These guys have an immediately contagious energy that gets your toes tapping, your feet moving, and your hands wondering where drums are. It's infectious, and it's fun, and they do it very, very well. Another session band for others, the Three Burners family is large, including Kylie Aldis, Tex Perkins, Mantra, Harry Angus, Daniel Merriweather, and more. Whoever they are working with as a vocalist, one thing remains the same. Great rhythms, amazing songs. Check them out, good people. Jarl Bernhoft is a Norwegian singer-songwriter my brother turned me on to five or six years ago. He made a name for himself by uploading his R&B influence videos to YouTube using looping pedals to form a full band, as many across the video sharing platform do. What set him apart, though, was the sheer talent and amount of soul that poured into these recordings. For a slight Norwegian with pale skin and a sickly look about him, Jarl Bernhoff has an inner strength that flows from him and his music, delivering a dizzying amount of deep, soulful vocal runs and guitar licks that makes any viewer or listener go directly to an internet search for more. I know I did. The videos worked and the attention came as he was nominated for a Best R&B Album Grammy in 2015 for his LP Islander and played Glastonbury and Traveled the World. Bernhoff was becoming as well known elsewhere as he already was in his native Norway, but since that time, he has not had the impact in America I'd expected. 
I would love to see that change because he's someone you should know about. So get out there and find some Bernhoft. You will be glad you did. And those are my picks for five people you should be listening to right now. I'm going to send you out with a little song from y'all Bernhoft. Come on and talk to me. I will try my utmost to be honest with you. Try to be honest with you every single word. Come on and talk to me. I will try my utmost to be biblical. Try to be. Come on and talk to me. I will try my utmost to be honest with you. Try to be honest with you every single word. Come on and talk to me. I will try my utmost to be biblical. Try to be. Come on and talk to me. I will try my utmost to be honest with you. Try to be honest with you every single. Work come on and talk to me, I will try my utmost to be with Nicole, try to be <laughs> Come on and talk to me, I will try my utmost to be honest with you, try to be honest with you Work come on and talk to me, I will try my utmost to be with Nicole, try to be <laughs> Come on and talk to me, I will try my utmost to be honest with you, try to be honest with you Thinking a lot since the end of our family affair And the things that went wrong in a manner of speaking I should have been more forthcoming About the things I needed to say But you seem to be talking to someone else Now you got me feeling so sorry For something I didn't do you got me crawling down a gutter when I should have been busy making love to you. And so it's all smoothed over. You cover your ears real tight. Is it up to me to be telling the black from the white? I'm talking to you. Thank you.